saw this came up and right. I'm just going it up to you if you want to answer this yeah. I just want to know what the outcome was uh-huh. I saw where you had that altercation on Delta right airlines mm-hmm. and it was because you had purchased a seat but they gave the seat to somebody else is that what it was well yeah they, they just double booked me it's double booked but, I mean so was, what happened at the end because you walked off but did they make it right did they apologize did they I'm gonna tell you this I had a case on them and I told Okay, I want the world to pay attention to this, mm-hmm. right? Because um, I think people try to make things something that they're not. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Also, I was researching something and I saw this came up and right. I'm just going, it, up to you if you want to answer this. Yeah. I just want to know what the outcome was. Uh-huh. I saw where you had that altercation on Delta right. Airlines. Mm-hmm. And it was because you had purchased a seat, but they gave the seat to somebody else. Is that what it was? Well, yeah, they, they just double booked me. It's double booked but, you. I mean, So was... what happened at the end? Because you walked off, but did they make it right? Did they apologize? Did they? I'm going to tell you this. I had a case on them. And I told... Okay, I want the world to pay attention to this, Mm -hmm. right? Because um, I think people try to make things something that they're not. So I'm going to put all the facts there and let people assess them however they want to, right? So I bought the ticket. The ticket was a lot, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't exactly remember how much it was, but I know it was more than $9,000, which I thought was fucking incredible for a plane ticket. I was like, what the fuck? You know Where what I mean? Where were you going? I was going to Vegas for um the the last Floyd Mayweather fight. And it was that much? Yeah, because I'm a huge Floyd fan. But I bought it the same day. That, mm. You know what I mean? So it was like, you know, but they surprised me with the tickets and shit. Showtime had gave me the tickets. And it was like, all you got to do is get yourself there and back. We got you with the rest of the stuff, you know? We'll let you stay at the signature. We'll give you these tickets. I'm like, Beautiful. But I didn't know the fucking ticket was going to be that high. But I guess it's like, it evens out. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. When you got fucking $15,000 tickets, it's like, whatever. So, um, I get double booked. And, you know, that ends up happening because I was just, I was pissed. I wasn't going to let them just handle me no any kind of way. Right. You know what I mean? And, and I feel like I'm a very... Uh, I'm a loyal customer. You know what I'm saying? And the airport got a funny way of acting like they doing you a favor. Motherfucker, I paid for this. You see what I'm saying? So handle me like a paying customer, you know? So, um, you know, that happens or whatever. Because if you were of I was embarrassed. complexion, that I was wouldn't like, happen. Fuck, I wish I wouldn't have overreacted the way I did. Okay. But they put out an article with a lot of... Uh, fraudulent things in it mm. so I was like mm. so I went to my agency like and my lawyer like hey I want to sue these people I got a case on them Wow, you know what I mean and it was like mm, well they're going to wear you out in court I don't give a fuck you know how good it's going to look for the black community when they say Jason wins this battle that I was right it's going to be big for us and it was like well Jason you know uh, well Jason you know huh and I'm like, why are y'all riding so hard for Delta? They was like, well, we represent Delta. Oh. Oh. Even you hired. Damn. UTA, the agency, represents Delta. They're one of their clients. Who the fuck you think more important? You Delta? Listen. In what case have you ever seen where no police get involved, nobody come out and say, he did this to me? None of that shit. But you get dropped from the agency, the PR ain't fucking with you no more, none of that. Back up, all the way from him. Mm. Like I said, it's very rare that a giant can look in the mirror and see a giant. You don't know mm. what the fuck is happening. Boy, do you know what I mean to the black community? That's real. We used to have all kind of fucked up conversations. I remember one time, I, cause you know, I used to, um, I used to, like, I ain't gonna say used to, cause I'm a, I'm a hell of a grill man, right? But I uh, I have my own recipe with char grilled oysters. So Essence came around, and I'm like, "Yo, you know how dope it would be for us to make a mock like food truck, right? 
and either give oysters away or sell oysters or whatever, but I'm actually making them. Like, this would be so fucking dope. This is a great way to promote the shy. Mm -hmm. And they looked me right in my face and said, Jason, essence is beneath you. Nigga, I start ducking. Like, what the fuck, nigga? I'm waiting on a slipper or something to fly. Nigga, you know, if, you know if these black people heard you say this shit, boy, what the fuck? Are y'all serious? That's, That's real. crazy. Essence is the pinnacle for black people. I don't give a mm -hmm. fuck what you talking about, nigga. That's I could real. never be, what the fuck are you talking about? Essence is beneath me. It's crazy. Real crazy. They That's want the kind you to of be shit a, that they'll tell you right to your face, you, though. They, they want you to be a certain way. I they got want it. you to fit into right. this box. You just not, you I'm just, not here yeah. for that. You know to. what I mean? They got a weird, a weird way of of looking at people. Of, they got a weird way of making you feel like you need them. Man. My nigga, nigga never stopped me on the street and said, when you see Showtime, brother, tell them we... You know, we, mm -hmm. we appreciate them no, for putting you on you. their show. Yeah, they, they, love like, they love me. They don't fucking love these companies. But would, would they love you if you put a dress on? Probably. They would love me more, for sure. You want to know something else <laughs> fucked up? you like, what the hell the the the, the, They got a man in the next room who knows this to be facts. I'm about to say it. <laughs> Can you hear me back there, radio? <laughs> say it. The first offer I got after all of this bullshit happened, right? We were shooting this movie, me and Jaquavis Coleman, we were shooting this movie called Everything Is Both. Um, I was on set, I get a call. They say, Jason, uh, uh, you got an offer that came in, straight offer. I say, oh yeah? They say, yeah, it's for a show called Pea Valley. Mm. I say, yeah? So what the ticket like? He said, 70,000 an episode. <laughs> they start getting hot. God damn, full straight offer. They said, "Yeah, but." I said, oh, "Fuck." I said, "What they want me to do?" They said, "They, they want you to take it there." I said, "Oh man, this ain't, this ain't the way I could come back. Like I don't have nothing against anybody that that lives like that. Like a lot of uh, everybody know me. Like I'm, I support your choices, whoever you are, but." I didn't feel like after what had happened to me that it was okay for me that it didn't move into that space. I felt like I was selling out. Come on now. You know what I mean? More money than I ever made in my life. I was in real tears. Am I lying? They and they wanted you to do they wanted you to sell your soul for a jelly roll. Bro. Yeah. Bro. Tough decision. I had to walk away from that bag, dog. More money than I ever would have made in my life. You understand what I'm saying? But it wasn't worth it. Not for the people that love you. You know what I'm saying? And not for what you stand for, bro. But I get it. I can, I can see the children at school now. <laughs> That's why your mama and your daddy not together, because he like boys. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, no kids it, don't it, it, yeah. They don't care, man. That's the one thing, man. You yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.